So I've been keeping up with the whole Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial, and holy fuck, Amber Heard and her attorneys and her lawyer, whatever the fuck they are, are the dumbest motherfuckers I have ever seen. How the fuck are you a lawyer, attorney, whatever it is, and you don't know how to argue or ask questions? Motherfucker objected, the, the dude named Rottenborn. He literally objected to his own question. How the fuck? They teach you not to do that shit. Like, it's fucking common sense. I also love how all of her legal team is trying to discredit all of Johnny Depp's or all the people who are testifying against Amber Heard or whatever the fuck, like the witnesses. And, you know, that would be fine if they were good at it. But they just ask the same dumbass questions and get the same fucking answers. And the answers don't change. Like, I know they do it to confuse them. So, like, oh, well... Now you're questioning their credibility and whatever, but they do such a bad job at it that it's just laughable. There's no way these people are real. They have to be fake. Like, they're, they're not real. Like, this whole case isn't real. It didn't happen. Also, why the fuck did Amber Heard take a shit on Johnny Depp's bed? That's gotta be like the most middle school shit ever. You'd only ever hear a middle schooler or an elementary schooler do that to someone. You got a grown ass woman in her 30s shitting on a man's bed who was in his like mid 50s at that time. No fucking way. Just no one found out about that until now. And somehow she's still trying to play victim as if there isn't a fuck ton of evidence against her basically stating that she was the abuser. And I'm just like, dude, you literally have a whole psychological evaluation from fuck i forgot her name but the doctor that was there who diagnosed or whatever amber heard with the bipolar the split personality or borderline personality disorder and all that and i saw her testimony at least i think that's what it's called and oh my god it is so bad her acting is terrible it is probably the worst acting i've ever seen and i've seen a lot of shitty fucking movies with shitty actors this just amazes me like the fake tears the fake, ooh, I'm scared of Johnny Depp. But as soon as she goes back and sits down next to her uh, legal team, she just stares at him while this motherfucker's just vibing. Like, come on, make a believable story at least. I am really happy though that this court case is going on because it's, it is so funny. I love it so much. It is probably the funniest shit I have ever watched. Just none of Amber's story makes sense. It's all just a mess and she can't re uh, uh, recall things properly and she's everywhere. She's like, oh, he hit me. But then she calls up the people who supposedly saw the marks and whatever. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? You never had marks on you at all. Anyone who sides with Amber Heard, I am so sorry, but you have to be the dumbest motherfucker on this planet. To believe the shit she's spewing, you have to be super fucking dense. Like, you gotta be a fucking brick wall to not pick up on her obvious fucking lies and deceits. No, but seriously though, Amber Heard really needs help because she's fucking insane. And I hope she gets the proper help because right now she is a terrible person. And she ruined Johnny Depp's life beyond repair. Even if he wins this case, there's just really no way for him to recover. I mean, yes, he can recover, obviously, but he already said himself he's never going to work with Disney again and a few other companies. So I am never watching Pirates of the Caribbean again, at least the newer installments, because I know they're making another one. But she caused him a lot of money and basically just unnecessary dam like emotional damage, because for a while in the public eye, he was just seen as the enemy and evil. And what I do like is, you know, the fact that he's airing out his laundry in the court case right now so he's not really hiding anything which again that shit has to suck imagine having to admit to all the like shit that you didn't want to talk about like yeah i'm pretty sure no person is like openly being like yeah i snort coke and that part just really sucks like just having to again admit all of that shit it's just not an ideal position i'm just surprised that people are surprised that amber heard is the abuser like this is not the first time that she's been called out for this at all she's had plenty of times with her exes even elon musk admitted basically saying like hey yo she she kind of a, a bitch to be honest well yeah he, he didn't say it but there was pictures when amber heard and elon musk were like a thing where elon musk had bruises on his face unexplainable bruises and he just never talked about them and he was with amber heard 
So, like, I can almost guarantee that the reason he had those bruises were probably because of Amber Heard. But I guess we'll find out about that eventually because I'm pretty sure they're bringing him in to testify as well as a, a key witness or whatever the fuck. So, and um, Dave Franco, I think it was. Either Dave or the other, the other brother. And I think Jason Momoa is part of it. I don't know. I kind of forgot who was going to be part of it, but... Yeah, the, the court case has just been super fucking funny, and I've been laughing at it because everyone is just so dumb. Uh, watching Amber Heard's legal team try to, like, make her out as the victim is so fucking funny. Because there's just no way to, like, they're going to lose out on so much money because they took this job and respect. So, like, they kind of fucked their own careers, to be honest. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the whole Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trials. I'll probably make another video on it once, you know, further down the road when everything's a little more clear. But before I end the video, I just wanted to talk about, like, my lack of uploading and whatnot. I in I really do try to upload as often as possible, but right now, I have a lot of work because I'm a videographer. So I have a lot of work right now, and I it's been backing me up on trying to make my own videos. And it really sucks because I really do like making content. But between having to edit all these interviews and shit and then having to come up with my own video ideas and all that, it's just been a lot. So I'm going to try to balance them. I'm going to try to get out at least a video or two a week. I don't know if it's going to follow that Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule that I had wanted to follow. But I mean, shit happens. It is what it is. Um, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to continue uploading on this channel at least once or twice a week until... I clear out my really big workload right now and then after that I'll try to stabilize it and get back on my normal upload schedule hopefully but that's all for now I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys later